Hi, this is Annette at needlepointers.com. In applique, when you have a lighter fabric, such as a white or cream, and you are going to put it on top of a darker fabric, you may see shadowing happening through the lighter fabric. This is not desirable since it detracts from the appearance of the project. To prevent this, you can add a second layer of fabric to the back of the light colored applique fabric so the background fabric cannot be seen. The second layer or lining fabric can be the same fabric, plain white fabric or muslin. I have been working on a lighthouse quilt which has a lot of white and cream lighthouses. To prevent the shadowing, I did, as I mentioned before, I added a second piece of fabric. How do you add the second piece of fabric? It's quite simple. The second fabric is fused to the light colored applique fabric to create a bonded two layer fabric piece. Once done, you can continue to applique in the usual manner. Let me show you how to add the second fabric. When completed, you will have an applique fabric, a piece of fusible web, and a second lining fabric. Let's get started. What you will need is applique fabric, lining fabric, paper-backed fusible web, scissors, iron, and ironing board. In order to know the sizes of the fabric and fusible web to cut to make the two-layered piece, first make your applique template. Trace the applique onto the paper side of fusible web and cut it out about a quarter inch beyond the drawn line. This will be used as a measuring guide for creating the two-layer fusible sandwich. Using your template as a guide from the lining fabric, I'm using the same fabric for both the applique piece and the lining, cut out a piece that is a little larger than the template. From the fusible web, cut a piece of fusible web about the same size as the lining piece or a smidgen smaller. For the applique piece, cut a piece that is slightly bigger than the lining piece. Place the fusible web on top of the lining piece with the paper side up and iron according to the manufacturer's directions to fuse it in place. Now you want to remove the paper backing from the fusible web. An easy way to do that is to score it with a pin and then remove the paper. Finally, take the lining piece and put the glue side down on top of the wrong side of the applique fabric. And again, iron to fuse the two pieces in place. You now have a bonded together two layer piece of fabric. Check to see if there is still shadowing. If not, proceed to applique as usual. If there is, and it is rare, you may want to add another layer of fabric. Did you enjoy this video on how to make a bonded two layer piece of fabric that can be used to avoid shadowing in applique work? If you liked this tutorial, be sure to pin, bookmark, and share. If you're not a subscriber, please be sure to subscribe and also share our videos on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Visit our website, needlepointers.com, for lots of other tutorials 
and free sewing projects. While you are there, sign up for our weekly newsletter so you don't miss one of our new tutorials. Thank <laughs> you.